Boom. All right, let's see what else we got. Saber Interactive Boss predicts $70 games will go extinct. I thought this headline was interesting. Um, what game was hot garbage? The last Sonic? Yeah, Sonic Frontiers, too. Uh, unless you ask a Sonic fan, they liked it, but they like anything. Um, it's not hard to please them. Uh, price has been one of the great controversies of the current video game generation. Over the last few years, a number of games have jumped from a suggested retail price of $60 to $70. It's been nearly four years since publishers made that jump, yet it remains a hot topic of conversation among players and publishers. In an interview with IGN, Saber Interactive CEO Matthew Karch addressed the price, the expectations that are being put on so-called AAA games. Cart believes that things are changing for the industry and the $70 price point will be going extinct. So does it go up or down? I think that as games become more expensive to make, the $70 title is going to go the way of the doo-doo, the dodo bird. I do. I just don't think it's sustainable. Look, you remember the hype for Cyberpunk, which I think actually ultimately performed okay, but when the expectations are so high and so much money is put into one title, it's hugely risky for the company that's doing it. What if it fails? You remember what happened with a U when a Ubisoft with Ubisoft a couple years ago, all their titles slipped out of the year and then all of a sudden they were in an entirely different place. It's hard to recover from that. I think the market's going to shift to development, which is not necessarily lower quality, but there's going to be an emphasis on trying to find ways to reduce costs. So hopefully the price will come down. He's really not hinting at whether or not it's going up or going down. My thing about the whole price, the, the, the price of games going up, I always feel like the counter argument to that is, I understand the price of development is going up, but who told you you need to spend $500 million on a game? Who told you? Ultimately, that's your decision. Like, why am I being punished for that shit? I've never met a gamer that said, man, I ain't playing no game that don't cost at least $200 million to make. I'm not. Only people think, only thing people care about is whether or not it's fun. So the best thing you could do is start making, and also everything doesn't need to be an open world game with crazy CPU and AI and dynamic events and shit like that the the solution is start making smaller games what happened to the traditional linear 18 to 20 hour adventure story driven protagonist antagonist beginning middle end everything doesn't need 100 million um side quests so like they did this to themselves got me on audio only now they hate linear games now the death of AAA games. It remains to see whether the industry will move away from the $70 price point anytime soon, but Card's comments echo what many others in the industry have been saying about vi uh, AAA video games. What an un-American response. Minus 10 patriotic points. <laughs> My bad. The current model for the industry has uh, become increasingly unstable with ballooning development costs and increased risk. Thanks for the follow. Games that are selling millions of copies are failing of to meet sales of expectations. You hear that, Shadow? Get off my man Sonic's dick! Uh, are taking much to longer to turn a profit than they have in the past. So the solution to that is lower your fucking overhead, man. Played Starfield uninstalled after the first battle. Lower your overhead. That's, if you want to make money, the easiest way to make money is not go bigger. Lower the overhead. Uh, you can't forget about the wage increases as many of these job salaries are higher. Even... First of all, you know the wages ain't increasing that much. Otherwise, we wouldn't have a fucking crisis in the United States. Can't speak for the rest of the world, but inflation and 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 wages are not matching. So that I don't think that's an argument. Most the most the wage most the wage bonuses are going to the top, the CEOs and shit. It's what not going to the developers. Be out sniffing Sonic's shoes. That is not a factor. They are just overspending on these games, probably overhiring. Just doing way too much. What's this mean for Knights of the Old Republic? That's what we're talking about. Uh, but, 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 mainly for the manager roles. The higher ups, man. The higher ups. Uh, and over hyping. Yeah, like we need to we need to see more games like um Hell Divers 2. Motherfuckers want devs to pay $15 an hour. Like shit, use an old engine or something if you can't afford it. Don't nobody care. I'm sorry, Amy, but I don't want to sniff Sonic shoes. What up, Lord? <laughs> Motherfuckers want devs to pay pay fifteen dollars an hour. <laughs> they want the Walmart prices, bro. The Walmart wages. Um, this next story I got for you. This comes from the leaks and rumors. Um, Reddit. So take it with a grain of salt. This is nothing confirmed. But there's a rumor going around in the Reddit that WB Montreal, which is they recently just 
they were the ones that made a Suicide Squad, right? WB Montreal is working on a Superman game. Uh, this has been rumored for a while. And no, I'm bugging. That's Rocksteady. My bad. That's Rocksteady. That's they made Gotham Knights. Yeah, they made Gotham Knights. Same game, but same game basically uh the, <laughs> this has been room for a while and a coincidence with wb recycling metropolis assets theory uh we already know they're working on a dc ip with a respected franchise recently the host of this podcast claims they have a direct co- so yeah take this with a super grain of salt because the source is trust me bro the host of this podcast claims to have a direct connection to wb montreal developers he confirms they're working on a flying dc game which doesn't necessarily mean Superman. I mean, Wonder Woman technically flies. Uh, Green Lantern flies. There's a lot of characters that fly. We're just assuming it's Superman. He also has conversations with a trusted leaker regarding the future of Rocksteady. He goes on to leak details of the movesets of the future DLC characters. Uh, This has been a rumor for a while, but adds more credibility. Also, the leaker Miller Ross discusses how Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League sold well, well, well below worst case scenario. God damn. He also knows Rocksteady's developers, but speculates Rocksteady will return to Arkham's Bat Family rather than target a Justice League game. Woo! More Batman! Fuck Superman, we need a Green Lantern game. Imagine if we made our own Green Lantern. Ex- How do you make a Green Lantern game interesting? Because he can construct anything, but you have to limit what he can construct because there's only so many buttons on the controller. You see what I'm saying? Yo, shout out to w- WC Charles with the sub. Um, a submarine of the leaks. Zoe's a streamer by... What by day, vigilante by nay. TBH was a capitalist. Why y'all keep gifting subs to the community? It's starting to look a little socialist up in this bitch. Shout out to Charles with the sub. Uh, big fan of Catwoman, his anti gravity mechanic with her gauntlet that lets her shoot back black holes and slingshot herself. Argus knew about her for a while. They preferred to have Catwoman but couldn't find her. I think these are DLC characters for Suicide Squad or. Mr. Freeze has ice boots, no freeze gun. What? Oh, Mrs. Freeze, not Mr. So the wife. Why are they putting Mrs. Freeze in? She puts Flash in cryostasis and is the last survivor of her universe. Someone Each just Justice League member. You. Welcome to all the new viewers. While you guys are busy making yourself comfortable in the chat, I'd like to take this moment to remind everyone that Amy is an annoying whore. Look at her fake ass hammer. She's a wannabe Harley Quinn face ass. Yo, shout out to Homeless with the Raid. Um, and then final Brainiac fight is all the Justice League fighting Brainiac. Uh, remains to be seen <laughs> whether we play as them during this segment. So it proves my point then. It was right. In the story, if this rumor is true, you never killed the Justice League. You killed clones or something because they're supposed to come back for the final fight against the Brainiac. Mm rumors take it with a grain of salt my thing is like will we ever even see this storyline play out because it's rumored they're trying to do four or five seasons i was like i don't know if this game will make it past season three if it'll get to season three especially with him saying that he knows somebody there that says that it sold well 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 below worst they had a worst case scenario plan and it sold below worst case scenario so they were not prepared for the sales to be this bad the power of youtube They were clones. They were taken over by Joker gas. Was that revealed in the Joker DLC or something? Because I ain't playing that shit. Uh, What up, Long Island? Just a rumor, though. Take it with a grain of salt. Take it with a grain of salt. Suicide Squad should get an award for being worse than the Avengers Hall of Fame. My hot take is I like Suicide Squad more than the Avengers. This Avengers was just clunky as fuck. It was clunky as fuck. I, I think the movement and the combat is better than Suicide in Suicide Squad. It was just super undercooked everywhere else. Like Suicide Squad was like Anthem to me. Like it had potential, but like it just fell apart. There was nothing redeeming to me about um, Avengers. Like you were just fighting robots. Like, oh. They really Anthem this bitch. Avengers is very... Passport bros are mad as fuck. Columbia banned prostitution for a couple months. I mean, why are they so mad? Ain't they going over to Columbia for a wife, right? <laughs> why would they care about prostitution if they're there for a wife? Hmm. And then somebody else on that podcast is getting exposed. That's crazy. Oh, uh, shit. 
Uh, just be aware, Bandai Namco is sending out cease and desist letters for copyright infringement. Do not use Tekken mods. And if you do, for damn sure, don't stream it or upload any type of content. Because people who are using Tekken mods are getting copyright strikes. Bandai Namco is not playing. Uh, my suspicion is they do not like people using mods on PC because then that takes away from you being able to buy from their shop. Which, by the way, I got on um, Tekken 8 last night for like 30 minutes. I just ran a couple player matches, just practiced a little bit. Fucking gross, man. The game's fucking gross. I was like going through the menus and then all of a sudden I got a pop up and it forced it forced me not i went to it forced me to go to the store the store opened up and it was trying to make me shop i'm like what the fuck is this, this is a free-to-play game i was just trying to hop online has that done has anybody played tekken has it done that to them i like tekken 7 fuck tekken 8 i've seen a lot of people start to say that too like there's no neutral in tekken 8 like and then the tracking and shit you say yep uh, well, at least their modding community isn't modding dicks into their characters. Yeah, that's the Mortal Kombat community. They're weird as shit. Yeah, there's no neutral in eight. Just fucking button mash. I lost a match last night to somebody who uh, was just mashing in the tracking. Just I sidestepped the fuck out of them. The tracking corrected it. I'm like, there goes the aim bot. I was like, this is why I can't take this game seriously. So just be aware. Don't play with the mods, at least on stream, because you can get in trouble. Uh, Y'all got any superpowers from the clips? Um, no, 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 no superpowers. Uh, and then last but not least, a company launched a self heating glove to help gamers boost their performance. Is there an article to this? Hold on, yeah, let's, let's, you guys want some gamer gloves? Anybody? Bro, every time I log on to Tekken, it keeps sending me to the shop. See? Um, originally debuted at PAX East 2024 in March. The Magma Glove utilizes the thin film thermal regeneration technology. All right, nigga. <laughs> and compression. You can get compression wrist wraps at any fucking store. Whether it's Walmart, Dick's, whatever. To boost <laughs> target, to boost your gaming performance. This is a product that preys on the ignorance. The glove targets heat areas of your wrist and uh, your hand and wrists which gamer tech boasts can keep your motor skills sharp and improve response time so you can play your favorite competitive games for longer. Damn, so like sweaty niggas is about to sweat even harder because this game basically heats up your body. That's crazy, wear deodorant. The glove has a total of three customizable heat settings and intelligent time cycles, so you have more control over how your hands are heated. The glove also features exposed fingertips and a glide patch to pre prevent friction against other peripherals. The Magma Glove was designed in collaboration with Oxygen Esports and tested by professional esport players. Yet, while Gamertech insists that the gloves are perfect for competitive play, likely they could also be an ideal accessory for gamers who suffer from circulation issues. According to Notebook Check, a study including 40,000 esports players revealed that the optimal gaming performance among players occurred in rooms with the average temps between 10 to 30 degrees, approximately 50 to 60 Fahrenheit, 68 Fahrenheit. So just turn the thermometer on, like what the fuck? If you if you su if you suffer from poor circulation, I don't know if buying these gloves is going to help you. Like you know what would help? Taking a fucking break. Get off the computer. Like, that would help. Go lift some weights. Improve your joint strength. That would help. I swear to God. Yeah, exercise. We be doing everything but what you supposed to do. <laughs> Just go to the doctor, bro. Sweating from video games is crazy. How much this shit costs, man? They don't say. Wait, is there a website? Yeah, stretch. Magnum gloves, magma gloves. How much they cost them magma gloves? Look at this shit. Look at these fucking nerds, man. <laughs> I'm a real gamer battle tested. I pray to I, I I pray to God I'd never take a video game this seriously. This is crazy. This shit looked like the, the Nintendo glove. Most of y'all are not old enough to remember this. So the original NES. The original NES came with the power glove and robbed the robot. Let's see. Nintendo power. Whoa. There you go, right there. It, it was only for like the launch of the Nintendo, the NES. So like this is pretty rare to get these days, but 
This is when I was a kid. This is what this shit looks like. The power glove. What the fuck is that? Yeah, most y'all, most y'all too young for this. Y'all don't know shit about this. The power, the Nintendo power glove. Be the first in line, ready to get your game on. Be the first to know when the magma glove is ready to take the esports world by storm. The NES came with the gun and Rob, not the glove. Oh, my fault. It was an early product, though. Um, I'm going to go ahead and predict this shit is going to fail. Let me tell you why. A good business solves a problem for the masses. This solves. I don't even know if this solves a problem. This debatably solves a problem. That's the first issue. It's not even a real issue. Then two, it solves a problem for a very niche crowd, which is gamers. And then three, it solves a problem for a niche within a niche because this is more for pro hardcore sweaty ass gamers. So like you're shrinking the buying pool. Like there's no scale for this. I don't know why people make products like this. There's no scale for this. Your mom is not looking for the magma glove. You said this is what gaming been missing. <laughs> the fuck out of here. Oh my God, this is fucking funny. This is whatever, dude. Listen, if you're having like problems with your joints, like they're sore and like you need some heat, just put some Icy Hot and some Tiger Bomb. Stretch. Ronan, what are you linking? I don't care about that. Uh, I like compression sleeves when I'm gaming because they help with my sickle cell, but I wouldn't use it. That makes sense though. Like you have an actual disease and that helps you with something. Thanks for resubscribing. This should be- But if you're suffering just from straight like joint problems from being on the computer all day, that means you need to take a break and go strengthen your joints. It doesn't mean buy this and play longer. Like I don't understand why. Motherfuckers will do everything but take care of themselves. We going into the sub box. How much is it? There's no price on there. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta pre-order the joint. Uh, all right, what we got? What we got? What we got in the sub box? Epic Mickey gameplay. That's old. Sandland battle, battle, battle armor. Yeah, just get off the game, bro. Get off the game. Hordes of hell. Ugh. Boom. I don't think I would buy that to be honest. I don't think anybody would. Gigantic's back. New Siggy video. Inkbound. Official Lily Stellar Blade trailers. This reminds me of the AI speed walking shoes. What's that? AI speed walking shoes. Destiny Into the Light official launch trailer. Destiny 2 Final Shape. Oh, gameplay overview. Destiny got new shit. I'm playing Gigantic right now. It's out. Who, who, who getting this Destiny shit? Destiny Let me see this launch trailer. I, I, hey, no, nobody link any fucking Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat 1 trailers, bro. None of them might want to look at that shit. No Mortal Mods. Ban all Mortal Kombat 1 trailers. That game dead. Throw a rose on the grave, nigga. Destiny got more players. Yeah, mid coin combat. Borders of the city. Lord Shax has been authorized by the Vanguard to place an arsenal of banned weapons from his personal collection back into circulation. Powerful gear. Twelve reprised fan favorite weapons. Oh shit! They're charging you for bringing content back. Holy shit! They're bringing old content back and charging you. Careful with that. Weapons we once deemed heretical, we now see as desperate measures. I know you'll use this. This is the expansion that got delayed because they fired all the staff. I wonder if they fired the staff because they realized they didn't need. They were overpaying because. Okay, so when you announce something new, the first feature that you announce should be like one of the ones that you're like most proud of. The first feature they announced in this fucking DLC is we're bringing back 10 weapons from past seasons, nigga. They about to sell you some old content. So maybe that's why they fired, see? Well, I'm at, my bad, 12, 12. So maybe they fired the staff because they realized, oh, we don't need you guys. We're just gonna regurgitate content and charge these niggas $20 for it. This is crazy. This is crazy. It's free? Is it free? Okay, never mind. I stand corrected then. If it's free, then whatever. As long as it's free. Oh yeah, it says it right there. Free update. All right, my fault. I take that L. I eat that L. I eat that L. I eat that L. 
It's still lazy, but I'll eat that L because it's free. Buys this only time, but the alternative is unthinkable. I Do I play Destiny anymore? Does anybody play Destiny? You see, even if it's free, I'm not playing it. <laughs> <laughs> Limited edition hollow foil Brave Arsenal exclusive. New secret. Oh, new secrets. It's time, Guardian. Whisper of the Worm. Let them come. Show me what you've got. When did Destiny 2 come out? Destiny 2 release day. 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, seven years ago. This game is almost 10 years old. Bro, take Bungie, take this shit out back and shoot it. I didn't know it had been that long. This is the issue with live service games, man. It, I don't care who you are. You live long enough to become the villain. Take this shit out back and shoot it. Where's Marathon at? It ran its course. I don't even want to watch this anymore. So what is it? Subbed. Thanks. I guess trapping ain't the only way to fast money. Yo, shout out to Too Easy with the sub. Yeah. Uh, what's the name? Um, why is there a 16 minute video explaining old content? Can we say the same for Fortnite? Yeah, I've been done with Fortnite. I'm over it, bro. Fortnite is not even a game anymore. That shit is a. That shit is um, it's a concert app. It's a concert app with new skins. You niggas pay five, ten dollars to get an Avatar Aang and Avatar Korra and, uh, skin, so you can go to the Travis Scott, uh, the Travis Scott digital concert. That's what y'all do. That's, that shit is not a game. There's a city where others. Oh, did you hear Ariana Gandhi's performing tonight on Fortnite? <laughs> what do you like about the game? I don't know. I just heard they're gonna have. Lil Uzi Vert on the surface today. Besides me, left. It's called Zion. I just got them Avatar skins. See, I know. I know. You niggas was acting like fiends when them Ninja Turtle skins came out. Oh, bro. Each one of us got to get one, bro, and run around. Help me save Zion. If you do, I promise Oracle and I will do everything we can to help you on your mission. Yeah, I seen it. I don't know. Until the trailer drops, I don't care. Uh, Fortnite is a big advertisement for companies, pretty much. Um, all right, so we got that dude, Adam. We got Adam. And then Lily. Here's Lily. Can somebody rescue me? What the? What the fuck? Let me introduce myself. Lily, Artie I don't think they're going to sunset Fortnite because Fortnite is still successful. It's still making them a lot of money. I don't know about Destiny. Oh, Eve. Come take a look. It's an all new upgraded drone 2.0. The range projectiles. This is more than just an upgrade. It's an evolution. One of the few games I'm actually buying this year. Very old school just action game. Looks fun. Um Ireland's in this game. I think everybody's in this game or something. I don't know. Here, this, this is what y'all wanted to see, right? Somebody tried to link this. Mortal Kombat, Ermac, just because it's in my suggested. This trailer's getting one minute from me. You have shamed the souls of your ancestors. Which of my ungrateful kin are within you? Wanted to watch Mortal Mid. Fight. Wait, are you playing Stellar Blade today or Dragon? Stellar Blade is not out, bro. That doesn't come out to the end of the month. It's not really doing anything for me. Are people excited about this? Wow, they actually listen to the community and put a mask on them. The design is so much better now. And to think back then, Ermac was just an error. We are many. You are one. We will destroy. I mean, they seem to be excited about them. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm happy for them, I guess. Or they being sarcastic. 
uh, what do I think of the Star Wars Outlaw game coming? I thought it looked good. Like the story trailer, we was just that's literally what we started talking about at the top of the stream. It looks good, but I gotta see some gameplay. The story looks interesting though. Um, peep the fatality. Turns him into Patrick Star. Fatality. Ermac wins. I didn't really do nothing for me. Where isn't Justice 3 at? Why he look like Dante from DMC? Remember when they turned his hair black? Meh. Unfortunately, yes, a little excited. At least Mortal Kombat is the fighting game I play. Hey, somebody's got to keep those servers alive. You keep fighting the good fight, my brother. Uh, they didn't really do nothing for me. Inbound, official 1.1 trailer. Is this an MMO? Or like a, a MOBA, I mean? Roguelike, fuck no. Gigantic. Somebody in the chat said they was playing Gigantic. How is it? How are people? The person in the chat who said who's playing it, they're playing it right now. Are people on the servers? Are they actually playing this shit? Back from the dead for the third time. The servers are down. Say it ain't so. Here we go. They shouldn't charge twenty for it. Excuse me. It was probably, I would imagine, because, like, I'm not going to lie. We need it. We need a documentary on the history of Gigantic. Like, the early pre-production, leading up to the release, the release, the downfall, the rise again, the downfall, and then the rise again. Because what they've pulled off, I don't think I've ever seen this in my lifetime. This, this is the third time this game released. And not because it's a remaster. But because it died twice, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is like that old dog that just won't fucking kick over. Like, what the hell? You said, third? yeah, this is the third time you want to document. I would watch it because, like, I am genuinely curious to know what's the business behind. How did they trick people into investing in this shit? They had to find a publisher to publish this shit. How did they trick a second publisher to publish it a third time. <laughs> this is fucking insane. I've got your back. Return to Ash. Don't question a warrior's resolve, I guess. Get out of there. I'm back, motherfuckers. No microtransaction. It's crazy. That's a selling point now. No micro. That doesn't make your game fun. Crossplay ranked rush mode. That's good. There's crossplay. Hopefully, Rumbleverse makes a comeback like this. No, Rumbleverse is never coming back. I hate to break it to you. That game is never coming back. That game sucks. No microtransactions. Not only is it funny, that's a selling point, but an effective selling. That's hilarious. That's the top comment, too. Uh, is Ronan really your nephew? Nah, don't come in the chat just making shit up, bro. You're just talking. You're yapping. Uh, don't complain. It's fun. You need to play the game to unlock stuff. Uh, yeah, ban that nigga, bro. What are you talking about? Apologies to those waiting for the resolution of the server issues. The resolution took longer and has had a wide-reaching impact than expected. We will update as soon as possible. Mm, that's crazy. Is this going to die a third time and come back a fourth? This is crazy. You said chill. No, you chill. Terry, Who's who said that Ronan is my nephew? Apologize, nigga. Drop five subs in the chat. Matter of fact, six. You sub and then drop five subs in the chat because you made that up. Drop five subs in the chat to apologize, nigga. Or eat a 600. Ju. Ju. 
Jitone Jitune Slayer. Fire the marketing team. Fire the marketing team. Why Fire the marketing team. Why people resubscribe to the idea of Shadow having a BBC? Only Sonic wields that type of power. Yo, Shoddy, shout the Shoddy with the sub. Bootleg Diablo. It's a Y, so is Uten Slayer. Uten Slayer? How the fuck am I supposed to know a J is a Y, nigga? Uten Slayer. What the fuck? Fuck this game. How about that? You just off my damn screen. Sand land. Shut up, Brooke. Yeah, the word of the month. Today I learned J means fucking Y. That's what I learned. His name is not Jason Richardson on TV. Jason Momoa. It's Utsin Momoa. <laughs> this looks interesting. I feel like this is a game I would play if there... If if I don't have anything else to play, but I got so many open world games I got to beat, man. Got to say thank you for Hokage highlights. Shit's been carrying me through finals. I, I appreciate you watching, man. I wish I would have made the channel earlier, man. So many people, so many people in the comment section. This is the best content you've done in years, bro. I've been streaming since 2013. Who knew all I had to do was upload the videos to the streams to YouTube? It's like, that's crazy. You niggas resisted Twitch for the longest. <laughs> Just go, it just goes to show you, you know, don't complain. Just repackage and figure it out. <laughs> Whatever. Better late than never. <laughs> Better late than never. The channel might become a money glitch in a year. Oh, it's a money glitch right now. I already make good money. In, uh, Hokage highlights at 12,000 subs makes me more money than the Black Hokage. It's already a money glitch. So, uh, but, you're, but you're not wrong, though. In a year, it'll make even more money. That's why I, I stay consistent with it. To the point where I even thought, I was like, mm, is it even worth keep going for this other channel? Sand nigga. Idris Elba's taught us that in The Wire. See, I've only seen a few episodes of The Wire. I never, I never finished the series. I think the moments in the highlights sell it. This should be funny. You never know what you're gonna get. Yeah, this is a game I think I would probably get on sale, or if there, I don't, if I have nothing to play, then I would pick it up. I want to check out the anime too. But, 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 such a good series. Also, do you suck? Also, how do you sub on mobile? Um, exclamation point sub in the chat here. There's a link. Uh, I would play it if I was bored. Uh, isn't that any game though? Like playing it if you're bored. MLB The Show. We don't really care about that. More Destiny. We don't really care about that. We already saw Star Wars. Just because this nigga resubscribed. Shout the lazy boy with the sub. To subscribe to the idea that I contribute to black on black crime. Uh, the Second Amendment is the right to bear arms. I swear on Maria. Got to get up on Shogun. Two episodes tripping. left. I've been trying to watch Shogun, but my girl, she don't, she don't ever want to watch nothing. She only, she, she only want to watch um, Love Is Blind and shit. <laughs> Never want to watch what I want to watch. You know how that go, Chad. You know how that go. <laughs> Let's see, Witchfire. Um, but 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 uh, 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 uh. I'll get to it eventually, though. Children of the Sun. Crown Wars. Did you finish Tokyo Vice? I I didn't even start it. And I just got a text message. Let's see. Who's that from? <laughs> uh, that's funny. I've been told to go to hell. <laughs> Hold on, what is it? Love you. <laughs> Alright, uh let's see Crown Wars. <laughs> oh shit. Uh Infection Free Zone. Sea of Thieves closed beta PS5 trailer. Oh shit, who's ready? Do, do, do. The NSA is watching. Yeah, the NSA is watching. Ultra Mega Cats gameplay trailer. I guess trapping ain't Ultra the only Mega way to cast money. 
you just have to put it on and let them watch it. it I was just joking, bro. Uh, shout out to Terry with the sub. I appreciate it. What event was there? There's so many trailers. There wasn't any event. Like, I just, I'm subscribed to a lot of um, gaming channels. So, like, that's how I try to stay up on shit. Uh, Demon Slayer shit. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just subscribed to all the gaming channels. That's all. Bluey. Yeah, I'm, I'm subscribed to 24 Hour Bluey. Ghost Galleon update. Oh, this is not a new game. Redesign the redesign calamity system. Holy smokes. Meh. I just got done playing Witchfire, uninstalled and refunded it because it's a bullshit roll like. Sorry to hit that, my brother. Yeah, I'm good off the roguelikes. The King Bluey was game of the year. Oh fuck no. Bootleg Boulders Gate. That that's not Boulders Gate. That was Bulging Gate. <laughs> no diddy. Someone just subbed. Thanks. That Who subbed? Bucks can buy some kitty, but it's still consciousness over coochie. Yo, shout out to AF1 Tory with the sub. Appreciate it. Uh, Infection Free Zone early access trailer. Wait, which fires out? Yep. No, thank you. That's full cell. Full cell university. Ultra mega cats. Ooh, what's this? Ah, oh, sweet, a cyber kitty. Oh, a rogue. Why is everybody making rogue likes, man? I've seen people say that like everything doesn't need to be a souls like, and I agree, everything doesn't. But you know what? I feel like it's slide been sliding under the radar. Every I feel like everything's becoming a roguelike. They're fucking every we've seen like five roguelike trailers today alone. Oh my god. Ubisoft dropped the prices for Star Wars Outlaws and it's hilarious. I saw I saw the gold edition was a hundred dollars. Cause they fun? No, they not. This shit don't got no checkpoints. It's not fun to me. Is there is there something I need to be aware of about the, the Star Wars? Star Wars. Outlaws prices. Bum, 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 bum. The pre order guide. What's the. You got the 70 base edition, the gold edition for 110. Then you got the ultimate edition for 129. With the ultimate edition, you'll get digital a digital art book and even more skins. Nyx, your speed for Nyx speeder and the Trailblazer ship, you can access. So it's just skins. That's gross. Uh, well, yeah, you also get the early access the three days. That's really what you're paying for the three days early access. If you care about early access, this would probably be the best one. This seems like a rip off. Who cares about some fucking skins? Yeah, three days early access in a season pass, which grants you access to two post launch DLCs. That's. <sighs> That's not bad considering you get early access and all the DLC for 110. That's not bad. This one, this this one is though. Like, what's the point of this shit? This seems like a bit of a ripoff. Um oh my bad. You also get Amazon Luna. <laughs> Amazon Luna, anybody? You get a get a free trial to Amazon Luna if you don't know what that is. That's Amazon streaming service. Fucking nobody uses this shit. Unless they want to pay me to use it, then we love it. 